Today I'm going to teach you how to make suppositories using medicinal cannabis oil. So here we have our mixture. It's one mole of the pure medicinal cannabis oil dissolved into 100 moles of pure coconut oil. And uh, to that we've also added about two and a half moles of DMSO. That's dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll just to explain a little bit about the mixture and, and how it works. Uh, the DMSO is a natural sulfur compound. It's derived as a byproduct of pulping trees. And you get two types. You get an industrial grade, which is used as a solvent, and then you get the medicinal grade, which is very pure and very, very safe to use. In itself, it's a very powerful anti-inflammatory, but what makes it so magical is that it passes straight through cell membranes and, uh, and through human tissue. So when you use it internally, it will go straight through the mucous membranes and into your system. And sometimes it's, it's so rapid, you may even have a slight garlicky taste in your mouth after a few seconds uh, because the DMSO smells a lot like garlic being a sulfur compound. Right, so at, at room te temperature, this mixture would normally be solid. So to, in order to melt it and to make it possible to draw it up into a syringe, we pop it into a thick bottom pot, fill it up with water about halfway up the side of the pot. Gently bring up the heat until it's nice and runny. Then we have our syringe. Um, just for the sake of demonstrating, I poured some of the mixture into this Pyrex jug. It might actually make it easier to be able to get the, the syringe into the mixture. I draw up two mils. Place the two mils into each individual mold. And so on and so forth until the whole tray is filled up. Uh, once the tray is filled up, you pop it into the freezer. It freezes very quickly. And then uh, you turn, turn them out into a Tupperware container. I would make uh, a nice, reasonably large supply. For instance, one of these jars, which is 100 ml, will probably make about 50 suppositories. So it's good to have a nice supply handy, especially if you have some kind of chronic condition that you're treating. Uh, just to, to let you know a little bit about, about what it can be used for, it's very effective for the control of pain and inflammation. It's, it would quite effectively replace the non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, which are very, very bad for you. If you're using them often, uh, they can do a great deal of damage to your stomach lining. I would also um, recommend that if you're having problems to sleep, you could even take the um, suppositories orally if you wanted to. But um, using it internally, it distributes the cannabis oil very, very effectively through your system, very rapidly. And it does so without first going through the liver. If you take it already, obviously it goes through your liver first. And then that's when you start to feel the psychoactive effects of the THC. Whereas using it uh, internally in the form of a suppository, it gets diluted into your bloodstream. So it's very, very much, um, you know, it's very much less concentrated by the time it passes through your liver. Uh, and so that ameliorates the effects of the THC. Some people don't tolerate the THC very well. They don't like the psychoactive effects. But the THC is a very, very powerful anti-cancer agent. It's the magic ingredient, basically, along with the CBDs. Um, so you do need the combination of the THC and the, T uh, and the CBDs. And this is a very good way of using it so that you don't feel totally stoned. So I understand for some people, going women going through menopause, that it's good to use vaginally, or generally for women to, to use vaginally rather than annually. Yes, um, quite a few women are using it to alleviate the symptoms of, of menopause, and then it's good to use it vaginally. In fact, if you're a woman, doesn't matter what your condition is, I would advocate using it vaginally, very, very effective. Um, men obviously would have to 
in Sip and Amy. Um, I know some men have a problem with it, but it's really very, very simple. It's very, uh, very easy to and do. And effective. And, and effective, yes. Thanks for watching.